is at war. The very people who claim to protect it leave a trail of death and desolation in their wake. Blackwood must be stopped. We'll strike them down in the Balkans, where their weapon harvesting threatens to place nuclear warheads into the worst hands imaginable. strike at the beating heart of their operation, fighting to end their ruthless profiteering in the Middle East. We'll strike at the Farvelas, where Blackwood's boundless evil makes no distinction between human life and scientific subjects. war leads us. Whatever we must sacrifice, we will fight as though death has darkened our very own doorstep. For tomorrow, it could. Hey there guys, it's Salas and today I am joined by the mind and I would suppose the face behind Warface. Would you like to introduce yourself sir? Uh, so my name is Peter and I'm the producer for Warface and responsible for Western Territories. Very impressive. And uh, first question I suppose I should ask is, uh, what is Warface? So Warface at the core is a um, quality quality shooter. Um, and the special thing about that from a distribution and business model point of view is that it's going to be free and it's going to be free forever. So that's one of the things that we really want to uh, press some importance on. Because a lot of people that actually play the game here, they don't know that and they're quite impressed with it. So from a game point of view, um, we have two different game modes. So there's one is competitive gaming, 8 versus 8, and the other one is 5 player co-op. That sounds very, very interesting. I mean, I know Crytek have made a lot of shooters in their time, particularly the Crisis series. And Crisis was notorious for not running on computers at the time. How well is this optimized for most machines? So you're referring to the can it, can it run Crisis achievement and people still testing their new machines against Crisis. Um, so yeah, one of the things that is really important for us for Warface is that we keep it as accessible as possible and like hardware requirements are actually one of the areas where we, where we put a lot of work into. So it runs on CryEngine 3 and CryEngine has been incredibly optimized for Crisis 2 already for running on consoles and we, we push that even further with Warface. So it really runs on an 8600 and with one gigabyte of RAM, so really relatively minimal hardware requirements but it, also then if you have a good computer it scales very well. Well, that sounds uh, good and accessible. We should get a lot of takers with that one. But from a position of it being a modern military shooter, what would you say sets Warface apart from other big modern military shooters of which there have been a lot lately? <laughs> which brands are you referring to? No. Um, so, in general, this whole, okay, all the barriers are removed, basically, is one of the things that we are really proud of. And then and the five-player co-op thing is something that so far we get really lo a lot of positive feedback on it. The system that is behind it is that every time you log into the game, every day we'll have uh, new missions. So every day you get a daily mission that is really hard and double XP. It then rotates over to normal difficulty and normal XP and then gets out of the rotation. So every day you log in, um, you have a fresh mission to play. And what users do a lot, or what our players do a lot at the moment, is they log in for this mission, play together with their friends, which also makes it a lot, a lot more accessible than just having PvP. And then afterwards, when they feel comfortable with the game, they actually move over to competitive mode. And then this becomes kind of a routine. So log in for the mission of the day, beat the mission of the day, and then play competitively, which is a really cool use cycle. Yeah, yeah it does actually sound rather interesting. You've got real-time mission planning and stuff like that. With the five-player co-op, if you don't happen to have five people, does the game fill it with AI or does it limit down to four people and scale the difficulty? Um, so at the moment, uh, the less people play, the more difficult it will actually be to beat the game. But you can play it with one player if you want to, you'll just have a very hard time actually beating the game. 
that could uh, prove to be a lot of challenge runs on YouTube. <laughs> obviously so people like that yeah of course and with the multiplayer do you have any kind of like uh, persistent level up system or unlocks that you get but are, are limited to your level do you have to be a particular skill level to get say a missile launcher with it so um, um the way our progression system is set up is a bit different from from other games so um, um when you log into a game you basically choose before you go into the game one of the three vendors as we call them so you either grind against weapons or you grind against equipment or you grind against gear and then once you unlock the next item that item gets chosen randomly so um, the idea behind this is that we don't want people to get stuck to one class and grind through the whole progression for this class and then drop the game because it's too much effort to actually test the next class. So with this system it's actually possible that very early in the game you might get a very um, high tier weapon for a different class so you actually are kind of encouraged to try this other class. That's quite good and uh, what platforms is Warface on? Is it PC exclusive? Currently it's PC ex exclusive, yes. Um, to, um, future plans to be discussed. Good enough for me. And do we have a uh, release date plan for Warface? Um, so you can already sign up at warface.com and we are aiming towards the end of the year. Very good. And you've already mentioned it's a free-to-play game, so I'm sure you will get a lot of early adopters with that one. I wish you all the uh, luck in the future with this game. At the moment it's been super successful, so we are quite confident, yeah. But thanks. Yep, thank you for your time. It's been great meeting you. So yeah, that's been my look at Warface. It's a very, very interesting game. I played a bit of the multiplayer yesterday and it was really, really fun. So, I hope you enjoyed as much as I did. I've been Salas, and I will see you next time.